In our previous node mailer tutorial, I showed you how to send emails using Gmail, which also included sending emails to multiple recipients. But to hide them from one another, I had to use BCC. This time, I'll show you how to send bulk emails without BCC. Keep watching, as I'll also share important considerations for sending bulk emails with Gmail. Hello, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. I've already added Gmail SMTP credentials to my Node Mailer project, and all the necessary configurations I used in our Node Mailer Gmail tutorial. I've also imported to the .env module to load environment variables from the .env file and the Node Mailer library to send emails. Next, we need to create the transporter object that will be responsible for defining the email sending service configuration. Set the service to Gmail to send emails through the Gmail SMTP server. Define the pool as true to enable the connection pool that will keep multiple SMTP connections open. Set the maximum message number to infinity if you want the transporter to have no email sending limits. However, regardless of setting max messages to infinity, you still have to consider Gmail's limits. And I'll walk you through them a bit later. While we're at it, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Your support helps us create more useful tutorials like this one. All right, back to our project. Set the maximum number of SMTP connections allowed in the pool. Add auth and instruct it to load the SMTP username and password from the .env file. Prepare a list of recipients by adding a constant with an array of objects, each containing an email address and a name. I'm using disposable email addresses. Moving on, create an email promises constant in which each recipient is processed using the map function and transporter.sendmail is called for each one. Inside the map function, specify the sender's name and email address and add a template literal to generate recipients' names and email addresses dynamically. Define the subject and email body in text and HTML formats. Use the promise.all method that combines all the promises in email promises constant into a single promise that resolves when all promises resolve or rejects if any fail. This ensures bulk email sending is completed before proceeding. Finally, add console.log and error handling to log successfully sent messages and catch errors if any. Let's run the script using the node src slash index.js command and see if everything works as expected. A success message appeared for all recipients and the email arrived in all five inboxes. As I mentioned earlier, Gmail has multiple email sending limitations. With a free Gmail account, you can't send more than 500 emails per day or email more than 500 recipients. If you exceed these limits, you'll see an error. You have reached a limit for sending mail. If you need to send more, you should opt for a Google Workspace account, or better yet, an email service provider like MailTrap. Even when sending from email service providers, don't forget to consider bulk sender requirements from Google, according to which high volume senders must implement a one-click unsubscribe option, have email authentication in place, use TLS connections, keep spam rates low, etc. That's all for today. Want to learn how to build an email sending script with Node.js and Node Mailer? Watch our dedicated tutorial. See you there.